Friends, good afternoon. I am Dr. Aditya Pradhan. I look after the Department of Urology and Kidney Transplant at the BL Kapoor Hospital. In my department, our major activities are kidney transplant, kidney cancers, we do reconstructive urology, we also do a lot of stone surgery and prostate surgery. So literally we cover the whole spectrum of urology practice as it is done today in most centers around the world. To speak briefly about kidney transplant, which is the focus of our activity. So as you must be aware, India has a large number of patients of kidney failure. On an average in India, about 2 lakh patients are diagnosed with kidney failure every year. And unfortunately, out of these 2 lakh patients, barely 3,000 patients get a kidney transplant done every year. So there's a large number of patients who don't get a kidney transplant done in spite of the uh, facilities being available in most major cities in the country. So there are many reasons why a kidney transplant is not easily available. The first and most foremost of course is the availability of a donor. So there are stringent laws governing the rules of kidney transplant and it is mandatory for every patient to get his own donor and these donors have to be live related which means first degree blood relatives so it could be his the patient's parents it could be a sibling it could be a ch his own children who is above 18 years of age or it could be a spouse so amongst these family members he has to get a patient of the same blood group or of o blood group and many families do not have relatives with these conditions and that is why there is a big uh, problem for the patient to get a, a donor for him. So this is one of the main problems that you have that you don't have adequate number of donors. Now the second problem is even when donors are available within the family they are not willing to donate their kidneys. There are again some reasons which are there most of them are misconceptions that a patient who has donated his kidney may not be able to function normally after the operation. So these are absolutely uh, unfounded doubts. Every patient who is going to be uh, tested for kidney donation, all his tests are done to confirm that he is healthy. The operation is usually a very safe operation and after the surgery the patient can lead an absolutely normal life. So these misconceptions must be discarded by the donor. They must come to the transplant surgeon and once they are counselled, I am pretty sure that they will understand that they are doing a, a life-saving deed for their near and dear ones. So this is the second problem where donors are available but they are not willing to help their relatives because of this misconception about the operation. Now the third reason is that we don't have many cadaver donations in India. Now some of you may be aware that there is a concept called brainstem death. These are patients who die in the ICU. Now before their patients are declared dead, their relatives are counseled that they can help the community by donating organs. So these are what are the problems which are faced when we are doing kidney transplants today but the scenario in India is changing we have become increasingly better in our techniques we have got good drugs available so in most instances a kidney transplant is a successful operation in this hospital our results are more than 99 percent which is as good as world standards we are doing all kinds of transplants the do kidney donor operation we are doing laparoscopically so that the recovery is very quick and most donors can be discharged by the third day to go back home. We are also doing ABO incompatible transplant which means that if the blood groups are not matching, the donor can still be taken up for the transplant. So friends, this was a brief about kidney transplant and if you would like any more details about any of the aspects which I talked about, you can reach out to me at the liberate.com website.